Welcome to Thursday Night Football Week Six. Week Six, we're here. T- tonight is who, who's it's the Marvel Combat versus the Eight Bit Brigade. Yeah, Marvel Combat having an off year. Uh, last year, defensive powerhouse. I think what they sent like six guys to the Pro yeah, the Bowl, best, yeah, most more, from defense, most of any team in TFO. Yeah, uh, kind of. I mean, that's what happens when you cross brand, though. You have DC now playing with Marvel. There are probably a lot of infighting, a lot of rock, locker room struggles. DC, what I'm seeing. No, they have they have Mortal Kombat now. They don't have DC. Right. Well, no, Mortal Kombat's owned by DC. Oh, they are. Yeah. Oh well. See, maybe next season they'll bring in like the Green Lantern and stuff, right? Who yes. knows? See, that, that I, I think there's a lot of head button there. You know, I should talk about in the booth with me tonight is the beer gods owner, the evil one himself, Dave Fogel. Dave, how you doing today? I'm doing right well. It's great to be on TFO for the first time. It's uh, great to see Raj. Uh, thank you for coming out. I love you. I you love know, you, man. We're doing this in the uh, in the shadow of little Dave Fogel or L D L D F. The L D F. Little Liam over there. So if you hear some crying, well, you we know, aren't actually beating a baby. Speaking <laughs> speaking of babies, you know, you got John Jobberman, who's the owner of the Marvel Combat. You got John Belog, the owner of the 8-Bit Brigade. Both of them are pretty big babies. Yeah. Who do you think's the biggest baby in your division this season? Uh, you know, I'm going to have to – it's kind of a coin flip uh, between the two of them. I will say, though, I have to give John credit. He uh, – Took that loss in stride. He took it like a man. He took so many shots. I like that FK drank it straight from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, it's not hard. He was on the receiving end of the re, re, renaissance of La Fin du Monde. Hey, we all know Nintendo characters are best when you're drunk. So it just made sense drunkenness beat him. So. Absolutely. But, I mean, he's got a good team. Metal Man is a solid quarterback. Uh, it looks like Mega Man's finally starting to pick up. I've, I saw his last week game. Put on a heck, you know, heck of a game. I think he had like 100-some-odd yards. His defense is spectacular. It's one of the top in the TFO. Um, I'm really looking forward to this game. Both teams are fairly balanced. Um, the Marvel the Marvel Combat's defense, not as good as it was last year, but still a very solid defense. The Bay Brigade's got a great defense. They do. Uh, offensively, both these teams are kind of trying to find their niche. It's been kind of sad not seeing the Wolverine up there among but, them but, offensive But, you know, this performers. is what kind of happened last season, really. If you remember, right, like early season, Wolverine just kind of hibernated, and then he really busted out there at the end of the season. That is true. He was a second-half player last year uh, where he just kind of just came out of nowhere and started hacking and slashing his way through. Um it's kind of weird to see him actually sharing some carries with Liu Kang, who's been having a really good season. <laughs> you got to add the combat in there. Um, well, Liu Kang's running that Wolverine run that Wolverine was successful for, known for last season because he was a wide receiver. He moved right, running yeah, back. Yeah, this that reversed so. the worst play ever. ever. But it works for Next him. Next to the flea flicker. They work. I hate the flea flicker. When it works, man, it works. So, But both these teams are two and three. The beer gods are three and two now. So right. we're in the lead here. So if, if the, the winner of this will technically be tied with you currently. Right. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a hot and heavy division. Yeah, it's a brutal division. Uh, the There's one three and two team and four two and three teams. We are beating the snot out of each bad, other. Bad crackle. It's uh, And the, you know, as being the owner of the beer gods, I have the worst defense, and I'm the 12th best defense. So that's telling you how tough the defenses are in that division. Yeah, you guys are crazy. So you know what? Let's let's go down to the field. Let's let's watch some football here. All right, we're coming up to the toy toss. Week six, Marvel Combat, Marvel Combat. The Bit Brigade. Here, I'll uh, help you balance a little bit. <laughs> you don't got to worry about the volume here. Actually, well, they're going to return the ball. So who's getting the ball here? I missed that. It's going to be 8-Bit Brigade. Oh, Sonya Blade kicking off. Little, little Mortal Kombat! Sonya, she's kind of a mixed bag when it comes to uh, the kick in here. You know, sometimes she kicks good, sometimes she doesn't kick good. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, a lot of the kickers. Oh, Cheetah, Cheetah dies, dodges there. <laughs> up and gets caught up in the middle here. That guy used to beat my ass at World <laughs> Track Meet, I tell you what, man. You saw so 8-Bit Brigade, Metal Man's got the ball. Solid handoff to the Mega Man. Decent run. Mega Man's small, so he's able to get into those little nuanced corners here. These big Mortal Kombat Marvel guys, they got to watch it. It's the muscles. Up. Oh. Hayabusa. Now he's going to hack and slash his way across that field. Man, it looks like you're getting like a co-commentary from a dog. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ruth. Yep, yeah, Ruth's here. She's uh, interested in what's going on. The 8-Bit Brigade there trying to throw a bone, but no. Oh, they did throw the bone to Jimmy Lee. Up. Oh. It's either is that, is Jimmy that, or Billy. I think that's Jimmy, if it, memory serves me right. It's a touchdown. Score! Dragon. I get confused here. They're both named Lee. Yeah, but as I said in the pregame, you know, Apex Brigade, I think, is better than their record. Yeah, I, well, I think all these teams are really better than their record. The TFO is so much harder this season than it was in previous seasons, and uh, 
I think Ona so last season. Really than that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, just because we've had two seasons doesn't mean all other seasons. Uh, Iceman, an excellent, uh, made the Pro Bowl last year as a kick returner. Yeah, if memory serves me right. He's a backup though. Quicksilver's actually injured this uh, this game, so you know Iceman was uh, dropped down to third or fourth string really. So. There's the Wolverine. You were talking about getting him a little bit more action today. Oh, little, that, that was a nice little juke. Hey, that oh looks that gosh. looks familiar. Oh, and he could go all the way. Touchdown. Would, would you say that's La Fin du Monde-ish style of it, it was. I mean, he definitely made the guy miss and just outdistance everybody else. That's what we've been looking from the bouncing berserker. You can see, the, Wolverine's really got the, uh, the, the advantage because he takes a hit. And then he just regenerates from the hit. Well, not only that, that adamantium skeleton is really painful. Yeah. And when he, but see, the worry is that if Wolverine gets injured, a broken adamantium bone is going to take a lot longer to heal. Well, I think you have to get a welding torch for that, don't you? <laughs> Start adding like parts to him, like beams. Well, metal man, er, metal man's in the shotgun. Spe speaking of people made of metal, right? Well, he he's going to take off. I mean, that's something he did a little bit against me. Uh, those slashing blades are pretty potent. He's not that quick, but yeah, he'll cut you. He'll 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 shred you. He, he's nif he's nimble. There's Mega Man, his arch rival. It's it's just weird to see Metal Man handing the ball off see, to Mega Man. I think Man. that's Mega Man's problem this year because he's playing on the team with his enemies. He can't absorb their oh, powers. It's it's a distraction. But not only that, he can't absorb their powers, so oh, he can't become Uber. Oh, oh my god! Look at those missed tackles. You, you want to talk about Mega Man becoming Uber? There you go. Man, what did he get? Like Grease Man's power? M Mega Grease. He just slid into the. Quick man, <laughs> you got the quickness. Through those boomerangs. Oil, he spit down some oil behind him for the for the Marvel mutants to fall. And they have fallen to seven to 14. And unlike the NFL, TFO is not gonna move the ball back. No, no, not yet. We might, who knows? <laughs> we may do, we may do a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> I just like to see uh, two point conversions at some point. That would be, that would be crazy. Two, it would definitely add something to the game. Everybody would go for a two-point conversion hey, every time. Yes, I, if I could program it like that, I would. Here's something you can't program. Wolverine's style and finesse. Oh, look at that. That Now, see, that. Wolverine's looking a little healthy. Ooh. Oh, oh. That's just break. That's get away oh, from the cop speed. Man. That's I just stole your car speed. I bet you Wolverine's done that a few times. <laughs> Uses the claw to pick the lock. Ooh, yeah. He's more of a motorcycle guy. It's like he stole someone's cycle. Cyclops is, I believe. Oh, look at the wow. Oh, it's a Pliskin. What a jumping catch. The Wolverine. Oh, uh, see? Pliskin's he, on the other side. The snake Pliskin. He's a little yes, a <laughs> Metal Gear guy. He was smoking a cigarette, not paying attention solid to the play. Solid snake, solid snake. That's who it was. I took a solid snake before the game. Whoa. Too much. Too much. Uh, this I isn't hope, Sunday night, I apologize. <laughs> I, I hope you flushed that. <laughs> we are in your <laughs> I mean, we're on location here. Oh, man. Speaking about being on oh, location. Look at, look at Cheetah breaking that tackle and getting to, what, about the 40? Yeah, no. we're, called, we're, we're on satellite here because we can't be in NES land today. <laughs> Again, right up the middle. That A lot of good running. A lot, but most of it's been up the middle. Uh, those uh, those linebackers for the, uh, the, the, the for the Mortal Kombat, they need to, Marvel Kombat, they need to wake up. It's a tongue twister, isn't it? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Marvel Kombat. A oh, blitz. A little blitz. But, oh, oh, my oh gosh. Hayabusa gets out of there and the first down. He did that ninja jump on the wall and then sprung right off of it. It was incredible. Maybe a little fire wheel. Uh, I think he used the ninja star. I will say the up run, you're definitely right. Like, the Marvel Kombat's definitely blocking that. But the middle, it just seems like they, they leave it open. Uh, oh, that's a that's a wide Ooh. open run. Oh, tosses him. Uh, gang, he got gang tackled. Nice hit block there, right yeah. from behind. Totally illegal here in TFO. Chop block, chop crotch block. I don't care. Metal blades, Metal chainsaw. Blade. That's right. Nice little I, pass there to Belmont. Fine. Simon Belmont. Not Trevor. No, the good Belmont. Tre what was wrong with Trevor? Uh, nothing, I guess. <laughs> I don't think he's on the eight bit word game. I'm more of a Simon guy. That's 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 well, I mean, NES Simon one and two. Right, he was one and two, but, well, no. Trevor's uh, three. Trevor was three, right. Pin him without Alucard. Only NES games with Castlevania, but there we go. There's Hayabusa with the first Ninja Ninja Gaiden in it. Finally, that, uh, that high run, finally uh, getting him somewhere. This 8-Bit Brigade, one thing that they do is they continue on to that run. That's their plan. They'll pass the ball a little bit, but they are really about the run. They, are, they might overcommit a little bit, because, uh, particularly in this part of the field. They might need... They might need to throw the ball because they oh. need to put points on. Third and ten. I mean, they're in field goal range, but, I mean, going into the half here with a touchdown is what they're needing. They need this first. 
Oh, Metal Man gets it off just in the nick of time. Oh, and there he goes. Now, is, that's uh, the tight end, Simon? That's tight end Simon Belmont, yeah. He, he, used, he held it in with that whip. He held him with the whip, yeah. The flaming, flaming whip. whip. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, guys. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Like, you remember him from uh, Captain N? He'd have the mirror and he'd oh, yeah, be all, he... like, arrogant. Oh, uh, well, at least better than Mega Man, it would make a high, make a ho, make it this, make it that. I'm going to kill Mega Man. <laughs> the only character that you liked on the show, you actually were rooting for King Hippo to punch everybody. Oh, I loved King Hippo and the Eggplant Man. <laughs> Where's Eggplant Man? He should totally Where be on the Eggplant Brigade. Wizard? Yeah. Where's King Hippo? Like, they both oh, should be on the I think game. King Hippo's on the defensive side of the ball, to be honest. Is he? Oh, uh, Liu Kang. Will he bicycle kick up? There it is. Wow. Right. Right into the half. See, too. Xavier, that is crazy. Xavier sent him the tel telepathic message. He's like, look, you're going to need to jump right now. And see, he's used to that because of how Raiden communicates with him, see? <laughs> I need an adult. Okay. Um. <laughs> Luke Kang is a child. But he's a child that can jump high and catch footballs. And turn into a dragon, apparently. And why doesn't he do that more on the field? You'd think that would be more of an ability. I, I, feel, I feel like... Why wait till the end of the fight? You should do that beginning. If you could turn into a giant monster that can chop people in half, why wouldn't you do that first? I, re I really like his finisher where the arcade machine falls on the opponent. Uh, that, that's always my classic. Was that Mortal Kombat 3? Yeah, it was in Mortal oh, Kombat 3. Those finishers 3. were terrible. Babality. <laughs> Mega Man with a nice first down run here again. Yeah, I used the M Blaster. See, I, I would just run the ball here and just go into the I'd half I'd go for tide. the bomb. Go for the bomb. Worst case scenario, it gets picked off. You get the ball back. And it looks like he's going to go long. He is. It looks like oh. Oh, he went short. Yeah. And he's caught. Safe pass. Little little anticlimactic. Jimmy Lee like, came back a little bit. So, looked like curled. So here we go at halftime. I'm tied up. Tied up. Pretty good games thus far. Thursday night um, football. We've definitely seen the return of Wolverine to some... some prominence. There, a little yeah. prominence, yeah. Gotta love the marching band. Mega Man has really been oh, showing cheerleader, up. Cheerleader, cheerleader, cheerleader. Chew yeah, kiss she there, not the, the kiss. winks. Not the winks. Just for you, Dave. That's right. And here we go. Uh, Alex is kicking off. I don't know who uh, that is. Uh, River City Ransom, Alex. Ah. I think Ryan is the punter. <laughs> See, never really played River City Ransom. Oh, it's a good game. They should be up on the offense there. They got that, like, fast dragon kick. There's Wolverine oh, here keeping the oh. ball. Fake, fake the end around. Got about five. See, they got two of those plays. See, they, they got the fake around, and then they got the, 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 the actual forward. round. Right, the thing that I don't like about the fake around, though, it pauses, and that pause allows the defense to catch up. Well, what I don't like is the, the run around that they do with Kang. He pitches it, and that really opens up. Oh, man, are they going to show it? Look at that. There's the pitch. That really opens up fumble opportunities. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my god. the same thing. Oh, but look at but Luke Kang just can't be touched. He's he, so nimble. He threw that fireball at the one guy and was able to just make that he yardage. Was like, oh! Oh, pitch back. Xavier. Oh, uh, what in the world? What was that? Who was he throwing to? His offensive lineman? See, I think I think Xavier has problems on the field with all of them voices. You know, he, he's, he's trying to mentally talk to these people, and it's just there's so oh, many pitch voices. Pitch off to the Wolverine, and Man, there's he's, words of wisdom right there. And he's gone. I love that he just barely touched the shoes, and Wolverine just kicked him off. Kicked him in the it, head. It's, uh, that's two touchdowns for Wolverine, right? That is two today. He's uh, putting on... He's. Looks oh, like he's no. getting back in I'm the sorry, form. I'm sorry, three. He had two running touchdowns oh, yeah, and he, he had, had the, the, passing, the passing touchdown. Trying to make a name for himself in the uh, scoring title. So, yeah, he, he wants to be up there with Dante Drop It. Well, Dante Drop It, I'm not, sh you know, having a pretty good week. He's having a good season, but right on his tail now. Demonde missing two weeks has now 12 touchdowns the on the season. Dominator. Uh, after that 300 yard performance last week, high he alcohol can't content, be stopped. man. High alcohol content. He cannot be content. stopped. You can only hope to contain him. And Hayabusa. Hayabusa. Haya. Ryu with a good carry again. Is it, is it Ryu or R Ryu? Ryu. Oh, I always called him Ryu. Ryu. I did too. I'm American, so. American. Okay. My, Jesus My Jesus carries a machine gun. <laughs> and drives a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> Metal Man here needing it all. Again, nice handoff. You know what? Even during the rushes there, they're getting some yards, but they got to punt the ball here, and this is really the first punt of the game here. Yeah, and... The, and Again, that's what I was going to. They need. They might be trying to run the ball a little too much. Down by seven. Yeah, you got. You got to get the passing in there. I've, I've spoken to uh, owner John Belog of the Eight Bit Brigade, and he is definitely looking into what he can do for his passing game. Uh, you know, going forward, because yeah. he knows how important. Well, I mean, it is. I understand his receivers don't necessarily want to catch those metal blades coming from Metal Man. Oh man, he throws them so fast too, and sideways. Yeah. Like, how do you catch a football that's being thrown oh, sideways? And there goes Wolverine wow. again, Jinkin and Jiven. He clawed his way out of there. Will? Oh, oh, oh he got caught this time. Nice. Though. He's a little winded, man. His recovery factor is strong, but they are running 
at him like a thoroughbred. I mean, he... Right, here we go. Let's see. What are we going to see? Oh, the we're going to see the reverse. Kang. This guy, I know you hate it. Oh, but oh, look. Oh, he got that bonus block. It's all about getting those extra blocks there. If Kang can get the blocks and two touchdowns on the day for Liu Kang, one reception, one running. Yeah, he uh, definitely uh, definitely spreading the ball around there. What a tag team. You know, half Mortal Kombat, half Marvel. Man, I just... This is the first time I've really seen though this Marvel Combat team play as an actual team at, at their full potential, and it really it really puts the Eight Bit Brigade back here. Now they're down by two touchdowns. I mean, these were two defenses that were coming in very very strong. The Eight Bit Brigade, particularly, really good against the run. They're getting absolutely decimated this game. And I don't I don't know like if your bottle's being attacked. I'm okay with that. I, I don't think the Eight Bit Brigade has allowed so many points this season. Like this, uh, this is a no, huge I, point factor. This for is them. the second or third time I think that somebody's gotten 35 Man. on them. I, well, I, maybe what I mean to say is I don't think that someone else's offense has scored this many points. I know that they've had points scored against them on defense in games. Right. Right. And, and their defense has been very strong, but this offense is, is putting holes in them today. That'll no, make keep back. the ball. Oh, he's actually throwing it. They might be actually Throw listening. Far. Ooh, very nice pass. In traffic there to Billy Lee. Well, he was open. Uh, the, the defense actually got there. That probably was a touchdown saving play by the safety. Them double dragons all look the same to me. Because that might be racist, but I don't care. Well, I mean, uh, what? One has red hair and one has yellow hair? Up the dogs found your bottle. I, I wish that I could have so much fun with a free object. <laughs> Well, like you guys do with TFO, that's your free object. Right? Oh, we cannot th again. We cannot thank you enough for all the hard oh, work. Oh yeah, we you love do. you. Uh, the the entrance fee next season is going to be one hundred and thirty five dollars, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> oh, what interception a pick. by Thor, God of Thunder, and look at him lightning. He brought Molnir down on that ball. That was a that was an amazing. That might be the that, tip. That's game changer right there. They and were somewhere, in the John zones. is crying in his scotch. <laughs> Or vodka. What is like, it? Um, I think he drinks anything that has a alcohol content. So paint thinner then. Paint thinner. <laughs> You've seen the Sunday night games. <laughs> I think paint thinner is definitely involved. Do you know if they ever got the cocaine out of that cat, um, by the way? Um, I think that's a to-be-continued episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the last season Cleveland Steamers type of deal right there. Ice cream poop. Uh. And this Marvel combat, now they're just going to run the ball. This is yeah. smart of them. Yeah, you know, they're, they're up by two touchdowns. A little risky, though, doing the reverse because that's fumble Ida City. If if Liu Kang coughs off the ball back there, it's going back the other way for six. See, see, I can understand that, but the roundabout's good that it takes so much time. And so I think absorbing that time is because they would look like they were fine with kicking that punt. They, they know they're giving the ball back yeah, with only two minutes left. They should have kicked a field left. goal with it, how far that went. You know, Sonya's got a leg. I mean, they're... Kickality! <laughs> Oh, there goes Metal Man, throwing the blades, jinking, jiving. Man. Not a lot of straight line speed from Metal Man, but he's he's agile. Yeah. He, he can make those jumps. He he can he jumps up and throws and jumps down and throws. <laughs> There's Mega Man. Mega Man's really this team. He may not be the quarterback, but he is definitely taking a leadership position. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's showing what he's got. The Blue Bomber's definitely uh, blasting his way up. You would think he would oh, be the quarterback. that was a beautiful play fake. Beautiful play fake. With the arm Mega Man has on him. Oh, he's got a cannon. Yeah, but look, he just... It looks like he keeps using the speed abilities. Quick man, throwing a little crash man behind him to kind of explode uh, a little who's bit. The, who's the guy that could do this? Oh, he's got that old ninja slide now. Oh. The little oh, rocket yeah. slide. Yeah. Well, you can make him a... What was it? Train... Charge man. Charge man. Charge yeah, man did the, the, the slide ability <laughs> maneuver. 23 seconds here, and the 8-Bit Brigade looks like they're, they're trying to at least put a little bit of points here, but it looks like that... Yeah, the, they're, they're, they're going to need... They're going to need a miracle at this point to, to catch up. I mean, two touchdowns, they would have maybe thrown the ball, and they're just going to wind out the clock. Oh, and it's just they couldn't get there in the end zone at the I end. Mean, th that fourth quarter is where we saw that defense actually come up. Wolverine with a saw game at 228 yards. Well, what's impressive here is, look, the 8-Bit Brigade had 26 runs compared to the 11 by the Marvel Combat. The Combat just was able to run better, faster, more accurately today. Right. Um, you know, the 8-Bit Brigade, uh, pretty balanced on the offense there. Um 171 yards rushing, uh, 153 yards passing. The big number, though, is just the amount of yardage on the carries. It's, you know, he, Robot Mega Man had nine, nine of those carries. Who had the other, what is that, 17? Yeah, yeah that, well, it'd be Hayabusa or uh, a Metal Man was yeah. in there. He's running some. Yeah, that's just, that's just too many runs. I think they I, I think they need to work on their playbook a little. I, I think a telling number here is even though Combat 1, they only got three first downs and they allowed 12 first downs by the 8-bit brigade. Yeah. I think their defense definitely needs to be looked at. They had 
great defenders with Juggernaut and Iron Man this year, and I don't think that they're holding the way they should. No, absolutely. Uh, Iron Man was kept off the. You didn't even see him exist in I, this game. Did they? I don't even think Marvel Combat had one Not real a good sack, sack. Right? I like, didn't see a sack from either team. Actually, that was a sackless game. It was very run heavy, run oriented. So yeah. uh, offensive through and through. Oh, I only think we saw like two punts. We saw the interception, yeah, the, the Thor interception. Thor, Thor, that the was Thor big. Interse- he controlled the weather, brought that ball right to him. <laughs> well, now that Marvel Combat is tied with you for the lead, we'll see you on Sunday. So hopefully, yeah, uh, uh, maybe I the beer. Who I'm, playing, I'm forgetting who I'm playing this week. Or wait, do I have a buy this week? Oh, uh, I I don't know. It, 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 all that alcohol we were drinking earlier oh, just geez. confuses the crap out of me. Well, I mean, so. you know, we had a little too Lefin, too many Lefin Lefin Mondays. Mondays. It was Man, great meeting They Lefin are, Monday. They Dunker, are going they are going to cut my throat over <laughs> him this year. <laughs> I'm just going to bury him you in know, everybody's subconscious. There, there can only be one two-time MVP, right? Absolutely. Because the RC and, isn't back this season. Oh, that's true. The so, RC, well, there could be a two-time defensive MVP. Yeah, and who but there can R- only be one offensive that's MVP true. two-time. I, I'm player. surprised not the RC didn't come back. No, yep. Yeah, they went with the Pixar shorts this year. He's, he's just owning the team this year. He didn't want a quarterback. He wanted he went with the Pixar shorts. So. All right. And they're coming up a little short. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a great Tecmo game. Uh, it was great seeing you, Dave. I love you, man. Well, I just appreciate you uh, taking the time to come out I here. love you being part of and, TFO. Uh, You're one of the pr- – I love your team idea and – I. It, you're you're one of the teams that I really really enjoy watching each week. I'm going to tell you that. Well, uh, you know, great uh, great Thursday night game, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys next Tech Mode. Tech Mode.